Bill. And I'm Adam. And this, this is Barbecue and Bourbon. Bourbon. All right, guys, so today we are uh, doing a whole red snapper fish that we actually caught on Saturday. On Saturday. Out in the Gulf of Mexico. Shout out to uh, Real Obsession Sport Fishing Charter. Uh, amazing. It was a great trip. Loved it. And we're uh, going to be pairing that today with a rye whiskey, of course. And it's uh, Russell's Rye Whiskey Single Barrel. Good stuff. And it's uh, 104 proof, so it's uh, a little bit stronger, but it does not drink. It does not drink like 104 proof. Yeah, so it's uh, pretty tasty. We're going to talk about that a little later. But we're excited to be here and to uh, cook this whole fish. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Don't if you forget, like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell so you'll know every time a new video comes out. Comment, good or bad. Let us know what you think. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Stay tuned. All right, we're back. We did a little prep in the kitchen. You'll see a picture or a little video of that of our lemon, orange, thyme, and rosemary that we prepped out for a red snapper. And we had took and we infused some thyme with a little, little bit of pepper into our olive oil. Right? That's going to be good. So we're going to cut this fish. At an angle like this this way give it a diamond pattern so that our acidity and our herbs and oils get on the inside besides of just getting on the inside yeah so it can infuse from both sides of the flay top to bottom take her away bill and here we go. And I really wanted to say, Calgon, take her away. The older generation will understand that one. The younger generation will not. That's what we're looking for on that. All right, Adam. Since I have gloves on, I will let you do the honors of dumping the oil and I'll spread it. A little bit of infusion. Yeah, give it a little quick shake. Yeah, perfect. See how he works it all down into each one of the little crevices and grooves. Make sure we get that flavor fully coating those fillets. All right. Again, since I have gloves on, I'm going to let you AP it. And then you can hand me some of the lemons and oranges and we'll bed this thing. Put a few on the inside. And put a couple on the top. Now make sure you get up on the head because, you know, the, the collar, very tasty meat in the collar. Cheeks. And the cheek meat. Yes. All right. Let's uh, bed that thing. Let's get the inside. Well, put, put a bed. Oh. Perfect. Yep. All 
Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. That's yeah, two's plenty in there, plus your lemon. Yep. And then throw a couple of these bad boys on the top now. We're gonna throw about three sprigs of thyme and one of rosemary on the inside. Perfect. All right, I can deglove now. <laughs> Our charcoal is a little hot at the moment, so we're going to go put it on the counter inside the house and let it sit for about I don't know, maybe five to ten minutes till our charcoal is perfect. Oh. All right, take the top. All right, and so bed. we're going to paste a nice bedding down here for the fish to rest on to give it a little protection. of lemons and oranges, just like this. All right. Now we already have the seasonings on the inside. As Bill has discovered, this is a very hot fire. Gotta protect our cheek meat there. Yes, sir. Cut more sprigs here and there, and then we'll cover it. <laughs> All right, so we uh, have the asparagus on the grill. We went ahead and used the propane grill for this one, leaving the fish open on the charcoal grill. And all we did here is we grabbed the asparagus by each end and bent it until it pops. So that what that does is it finds the most tender spot of the asparagus. Then we did a little olive oil with the spray, salt and pepper, stirred it around in that little coat, a little bit more salt and pepper, throw it on the grill. It's probably 10 to 15 minutes and it'll be done. We'll pull it off. Should be done about the same time as the fish. We got a char on them from the center of the grill over open fire. Now we're just letting them finish. A little indirect there? A little indirect. And I think those are about done. We could probably shut this off and leave it closed. All right, so. The fish should be done. We're going to open it up. Here it goes. <coughs> Look at that beautiful fish. All right, well, the food is plated. Red snapper. Caught on Saturday. Yes, sir. Woo! Man, it's going to be good. We got a little asparagus. We got our rye. Russell. Single barrel. Delicious. Let's dig in, Bill. I like how you did the uh, orange on the top there, out, uh, Adam. A little extra flavor there. And yes, that was orange grilled. Yes. Mm. 
Mm. You get that barbecue flavor coming up throughout, and then you got the, the orange and lemon the fusion. Mm. Touch of that rosemary and thyme in there. So flaky. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's, it just pulls apart. So flaky. So what we did was we took it inside and we cut lay across and then we cut mm. perpendicular to that and then we plated it. That is so good. Mm. You can taste all all that herb, orange, and lemon. Mm. Oh, I got a bone. That's what happens when you cook a whole fish? You will get bones. I'm gonna try some of the orange too. I'm going to also, but I want to try it with a piece of the fish. Mm. Oh, that asparagus cut perfect. Oh, that's done well. Beautiful. Well done on it. Nice char. Got the flavor of the grill in it. Still got the crisp. That is delicious. Truly. And that's really good with that rye. I like that. Yeah. yeah, it works beautifully together. Amazing. Yes, sir. Mm, delicious. <clears throat> well, what do you think, Adam? I think another one went out of the park, Bill. <laughs> Knocked straight out of the park. Oh, my. That is delicious. Oh, look at that flake. Beautiful. Well, here's to another successful episode. Hopefully. <laughs> the food is delicious. The food is phenomenal. If you guys follow this, you're going to love it. It, it is delicious. Uh, one of the things you do have to, to worry about, think about when you are doing a whole fish is uh, do a little bone. Um, there will be some bones in it. There will be. But man it's worth it. it it just tastes so good definitely worth it the bones being in there adds an additional flavor yes sir it does fish that you don't get with it, just the filet the skin oh with it that was, crisps mm. up and infuses the orange and lemon flavors in it it just yes so inviting you just you just can't wait to, your mouth waters with anticipation <laughs> it was earlier actually phenomenal Excellent. I can't. I mean, you guys got to try this at home. You're gonna be in love. Uh, you know, if, if you if you're not out there catching catching the fresh snapper yourself, go to your local fishmonger. Yes. Ask them for a, a fresh red snapper. Whole fish, if you can get one. It's worth it. It is definitely worth it. We'll we'll do another episode with just lays down the road. I tell you the whole fish with the bones and everything and the flavor. That the flavor that oh. Guys, here we go. If you run, may you run in the clouds. If you fight, may you fight for your lover's heart. And if you drink, may you drink with us. us.